The Hoyt Vintum Pro 30 Gear Review. Let's get into it. Our adventures and our lives depend on equipment to perform. So we put gear to the test and share the raw truth no matter the results. With that, enjoy this no holds barred, no BS gear review. Hoyt Vintum Pro is offered in 25 to 30 inch draw lengths, 30 pounds all the way up to 80, has an axle to axle of 30 inches and a brace height of six inches. The Hoyt bands between 5.2 and 5.1. Hoyt is 70.8. The Hoyt Ventum Pro has a nice draw cycle. It slightly dumps into that back wall. You can see it right there. Um, but once you get into that back wall, it is a little spongy. I would say that the Hoyt has the most spongy back wall out of the five bows in this test um, but the draw cycle itself is very nice very smooth and dumping into that back wall is almost not noticeable Ninety-one point five, ninety point five, ninety-four. We are now onto the Hoyt. No issues whatsoever uh, in the kneeling position. Draws smooth, holds well. No issues, and and this bow has a small enough axle to axle that. My mind does not immediately go, oh my gosh, look at your bottom cam. So that's really nice. The Hoyt was not too bad to draw, um, but the Hoyt's draw cycle uh, is, is not, not, uh, not too harsh comparable to some of the other bows that we're testing. So. As you can see, I don't have to raise my bow a whole lot. I don't have to uh, move side to side. One and three quarters, one inch, and one and a quarter. Two and three quarters, two and a quarter, and four inches. Four inch, four and three quarter, three and a half. I hunted spot and stock and from tree stands with the Hoyt Venom Pro 30. I appreciated the shootability and ease of tuning when it came to shooting fixed blade and mechanical broadheads with this bow. Couple that with an excellent shot cycle due to the new HBX Pro cams and zero hand shock helped me extend my effective range. Two shots at 100 yards with the Hoyt Venom Pro and they are about eight inches apart, maybe seven. The HBX Pro Cam also offers a smooth draw cycle which came in beneficial when drawing back without animals noticing. Hoyt put a helpful reference sticker on the limb which explains which letter on the cam correlates to what draw length. 
I was not a fan of the rubber grip that came on the bow, but that was easily fixed by taking the grip off. The axle to axle length was a great size and lent to maneuverability during my hunting trips. Out of the hunts that I took the Hoyt on, I was successful and I spot and stalked mule deer hunt. 99.8 yards. <laughs> I almost had a complete pass through. The hunt ended with an easy to follow blood trail and a heavy pack out. If you would like to see all the results from the tests in graph form, head on over to www.battlemountainmedia.com and click on gear reviews and select 2022 head to head bow test. I shot really well with this bow and I really liked the draw cycle, but what I didn't like was the back wall. It had a little bit too much spongy and give for me as an archer and my preferences, especially because I shoot a tension release.